Mission Week comes to a close today. We hope you've had opportunities this week to think about how you might become involved in 2017. Let's listen to what some of our members have to say. Hi, my name is Judy Schaefer, and my home church is in New Jersey. And a few years ago, God put a burden on my heart for missions. And just because I leave my home church doesn't mean that I leave missions behind. So I want to be a part of the missions wherever I am. I would say that you get so much more out of it than what you give. In all honesty, the, the, whether it be monetarily or um, with the work that you do, you don't understand how much you impact someone, someone's life until you actually get to see it. Well, my name is Brenda Laudermilk Sosha. I'm originally from Northeast Ohio, and missions have always been something that tugged at my heart. Uh, when my children were younger, I made sure that they participated in the youth mission programs at our church. It was one of those things that I would get to someday. Um, I arrived down here in Naples and got involved with a couple programs, and now I find myself on the Haiti mission team. And, uh, it's been very, very rewarding. They uh, are a farming community, so they rely on their crops and their livestock for a livelihood. All of that was lost in Matthew. They're trying and holding on to hope that somebody will be there to help them. And when they saw us coming up the mountain that day, they threw up their hands and cried that God heard them. They sent somebody that would at least know they were alive and see if they could help them. Very, very rewarding, very, very heartbreaking. I went to serve your world camp. We fed the homeless people some food. Um, we, um, we um, paint pictures for people. Um, we did a lot of stuff like that. I think it's definitely brought my faith to a full circle, 110%. Um, Seeing how the other half of the world lives in a way honestly makes you think how how ridiculous it is um, we sit here and complain about our little things in life that are awful, like our phones and everything that's just unnecessary. And these kids here are beyond happy with the very little that they have. And I think that it's brought a new understanding to me and that I hope one day that I do get to adopt kids and that um, they, they've shaped my life 110%. I don't know, I don't know where I'd be without them. They've truly, truly affected my life. It's definitely changed my perspective of things. Like I went there and saw how happy they were with such little things they had. And I came over here back home and noticed I wasn't happy with everything that I had here, even though it was way more than what they had. And it just really changed what I thought of how I was supposed to act and how I was supposed to deal with my wants of everything. And I just thought I should be giving back more as well and not just wanting more for myself but wanting more for others. It's great to see the, the relationships that have been built. One day I was at Sam's Club and one of the gentlemen who goes through the line every week, uh, uh, I, I heard someone yelling at me, Senor, Senor. Venga, venga, come, come. I went over to him and he said, I want to introduce you to my family. And here was his wife and his kids and he said, this is my friend. This is my friend from the pantry. And it was a, a good feeling. Kim and I would like to thank you for your support in 2017. For more information, stop by the Connections desk and pick up the mission brochure. God, God bless. bless.